Welcome to Apex Infection Prevention and You podcast. Apex Infection Prevention and You campaign educates healthcare providers and consumers about the importance of infection prevention. Learn more by visiting www.apic.org slash infection prevention and you. Today we're talking with Tim Bowers, member of Apex Communications Committee. We'll be talking about healthcare professionals and consumers and how they can break the chain of infection in hemodialysis settings. Also, breaking the chain of infection is a theme for this year's observance of International Infection Prevention Week, which takes place October 16th through the 22nd. Before we get started, I wanted to provide some background on hemodialysis and hemodialysis centers. So hemodialysis centers are really critical for patients with kidney failure. Patients who need hemodialysis treatment usually go in about three times a week for four hours at a time to have the procedure. Hemodialysis is also known as dialysis, and it's a medical procedure that provides filtration of the blood. Due to the direct contact, with the bloodstream, dialysis is considered one of the most invasive procedures outside of an operating room. Welcome to the show, Tim. Thanks for having me. All right, so our first question, what are some of the infection prevention challenges in hemodialysis care settings, and how are they different than those you see in, let's say, acute care or hospitals? So for dialysis patients, there's definitely one thing that is different between them and your normal patients. Their blood actually leaves their body to be to be clean, to be to be sanitized before being put back into your body. When you have more than one patient doing that in a space, you have the risk for hepatitis and other diseases going from patient to patient. So the procedure in and of itself really does uh, put them at high risk for specific diseases. In addition to that, many dialysis patients have chronic diseases. So on top of the blood leaving their body, they have these other diseases that could predispose them for bacterial uh, infections, viral infections. So the um, so these patients really are at super high risk for complications related to, to their treatment. It really does take a strong healthcare team and the patient focusing on their safety for this to be a successful venture in terms of infection prevention. What are some things that both healthcare providers and patients can do to break the chain of infection in hemodialysis care settings. So like many of our patients, we tell, we tell them, if you see something, say something. Um, certain high-risk patients are separated in different rooms. Workers wear gloves and gowns and masks and things to protect themselves, but it's also to protect, to protect the other patients as well. We clean the environment thoroughly uh, with very strong chemicals. So if any of these things usually happen and you don't see them happening now, Definitely, you have to say something to your your care providers. But of course, with everything else, we really want you to get vaccinated for specific diseases, and nothing will ever work if we're not washing our hands. That's great information, Tim. Thanks so much for taking the time to be with us today. To learn more about Infection Prevention U and International Infection Prevention Week, visit www.apic.org slash infectionpreventionu. Thanks again.